So in today's video, we look at how to do motion tracking in Caden Live. So we're going to do two different examples. The first example is just to track a moving vehicle or moving object. And the second example is to track a moving person, but the pace being blurred. So let's type in and see how we can do that. So here we got two video clip, one with a uh, vehicle moving and one is the person that we are going to track. So let's go back again to the first one. Make sure to have your uh, marker in the beginning of the clip. Go to the effects panel and under alpha mask and king, if you're in show all video um, effects, you can click this and uh, go to motion tracker, click that and drag it onto your uh, video clip. Now with that, you can see the uh, tracker is here. So we need to reduce the size of the tracker. And as you can see this little circle here, this is the little ellipse or circle or dot that you can place over the vehicle or the moving object that you are trying to track. So we want to track this vehicle that comes out here. So what we can do is place this over the vehicle. So let's just place this little dot over the vehicle. Now, once we have that, let's go to the properties here. You can see the size being reduced because we reduced the size of the tracker. And then tracker algorithm, you can see KCF and the other ones here. I recommend that to use KCF if you are uh, moving on a straight line without any obstruction. But if you are, have some trees overhead or the car have to cross over like this example to the other side of the road, you need to use the mouse or mouse. Now the keyframe spacing, uh, this is the best keyframe spacing so far, but if you want to increase it up, you can decrease the number. If you want to ask uh, the uh, moving person or the moving vehicle is slow, you can decrease, uh, increase the number up to uh, six, seven and up. Now in the frame safe, you can change this to any of these. There are three types, rectangle, ellipse and arrow. So let's choose ellipse here. And in the save width, which is the ellipse width, we need to change this to something thicker so we can see clear as you can see already here. And then, um, yeah, that's all we need to do for this. And let's play and see. So here's our vehicle moving as the track, the track attracts the, it all to the other side. Okay, so that's the first example. Let's go to the second example. In this second example, we want to uh, blur the face of this uh, lady here as it as she walks by. So we want to blur her face. So let's go to the beginning of the uh, clip here. And now selecting the clip, apply the motion tracker. And then in the motion tracker properties, uh, first of all, let's just reduce the size of this one first and then place it on the little dot on her face and then change this to Moshe. And then in the shape, we want to um, change the shape to ellipse. A width, let's just leave it like that because we want to blur her face. So let's just uh, pull this up to blur her face. So there we go, we blur her face and um, that's all we need to do. So let's play this and see. So that's the two example of how we can use the uh, motion tracker to track a moving person and also to blur a pace of a person as a person moves. So thank you for watching and um, hope to see you back again. If you have any question regarding the motion tracker or motion tracking, you can note that in the description below. And uh, thank you again for all those who have subscribed to our channel. Please do that if you have not subscribed yet and uh, see you back again in another video.